What's going on, Jerome's? We're back doing another Viking 7-round mock, mock draft, but we're going to put some parameters in place because, of course, free agency as well as what the Vikings do with their own rooster uh, matters, and it's going to impact what happens in the draft. So our parameters are in-house guys, uh, Eric Hendricks, cut. Jordan Hicks, cut. No Patrick Peterson brought back. No Garrett Bradbury brought back. Uh, Adam Thielen is gone. Daniil Hunter extended. And then in free agency... Quasey goes all in, right? So he frees up all that cap space and goes after Ben Powers, the guard from the Ravens. He goes after Dalton Reisner, the interior offensive lineman from the Broncos to play center. Uh, of course, him and Chris Cooper go way back like chiropractic, all, as well as they go after Javon Hargrave, uh, the pass rushing nose tackle from the Philadelphia Eagles, except not in the Super Bowl. Arr! Uh, so the Vikings pay up in the trenches. So that's where we currently are. So needs, I mean, linebacker, cornerback, safety, wide receiver, L lots of things going on. But check all the boxes. That's where we're currently at. Let's start the damn draft. Woo. Let's go, man. Feeling good. Oh, also Dalvin's cut, but sort of given at, at this point. So uh, Joey Porter Jr., Addison is there. Osiris Torrance. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So if you want to completely remake this offensive line, adding Ben Powers, adding Dalton Reisner, and then adding Osiris Torrance, and then having Ed Ingram compete in there, that would be pretty damn sexy. But I, I, I don't know if Quasey would do that, because obviously Ed Ingram was his draft pick, and there's a little bit of ego involved there, sure. I mean, do they just go Nolan Smith? I mean, yeah, he was injured. Addison is a stud. I think he's going to be super slippery uh, in the slot. The former Blitnikoff winner spent one year with USC, formerly a pit. Cam Smith is a stud. Joey Potter is a stud. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? All right, so since we sutured up the trenches, I'm going to Addison. I'm going to Addison. Uh, it's going to be the Robin to Justin Frickin' Jefferson's Batman, and also KJ is going to be, I don't know, Nightwing in there. Sure. Although, wasn't Nightwing Dick Grayson? Really doesn't matter. <laughs> Crossing up my Ooh, Jordan Battles there, baby. Uh, Foskey, I love Noah Sewell. I love uh, Avila. I love Herbig. I love Jalen Jones. Damn, Clark uh, Voorhees. Damn. I mean this. Uh, I mean Jordan Battles is a stud. I did not expect to see him available. Brown is a stud too. Foskey, I would love to have. But you know what? F it. All right, so we got Jordan Battle. So we got our wide receiver. Uh, we got our safety. And also, I, I love basically any safety that comes from Nick Saban's scheme because uh, he's going to – ooh, ooh, ooh. So he's going to understand very high-level concepts. Like, I mean, Alabama's secondary play is more advanced than some NFL teams. Uh, which is crazy. So that's why uh, Bama uh, defensive backs, not only are they four or five star guys, but they're also extremely uh, football high football IQ coming into the league. Uh, Zach Pickens is there. Mafia is there. Ooh, Kyle Blue Kelly. Let's go. I mean, come on. All right, so we got the receiver. I mean, Pickens. I would love to add Pickens in the spot. Blue Kelly makes a lot of sense too. Ooh, baby. Uh, Scott Mingo, if you want some more speed. But of course, Trey Palmer, we got that speed element too. Uh, so we got three picks left. Uh, uh, all right, we're going Mafia. F it, F it. Damn the torpedoes. So interior offensive line, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Give me some more. Give me some loving. All right, so trading is there. Who I love. Uh, Connor Galvin, super interesting. Ventrell Miller, I like a lot. Jackson Kirkland, uh, Drake Nugent, Julius Brents. If we wanted to double and triple down on DB, which makes sense. Let's see, we got two picks left, 160 and 177. Hmm. I mean, Gardner's there too. Although Deuce Vaughn's interesting. Hmm. All right, so we got a couple trade offers. Giants, 162. Um... Can we get both? Yeah, just give me give me your back end picks, man. All right, they say no. Psh, please, child, please. All right, sixty five percent chance. Sure, I'll go there. Resume. All right, so we moved down two spots. We picked up an extra pick. Um, Gardner makes sense. Ah, Ventro Miller. All right, so we've got, we've got a linebacker. We're good to go there. Uh, I, I kind of want 
Hmm. Running backs wise, let's see here. I do want to add one. And I, I know that we love Mo, but you know. Evan Hall is super interesting. We can add him on the back end at 242 if he's there. Uh, right now, I mean, Josh Wiley is super interesting too. Clayton Tune, no. Well, Mal I do like Mallory a little bit better. Actually, Darius Rush. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're going to bet on the length guy. Darius Ru Rush had himself a very nice senior bull. So we're grabbing him at 162. And then we're looking to grab the running back at 242. Feeling pretty good about this draft. Again, there are rules here. This is not Vietnam. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are clamming, take the fullback. He's like Klein Saucer, except he goes to the other North Dakota school. Yeah. Uh, Travis Dye, I like, but nah, Evan Hall is my man. All right, so running back, check that. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really, really good, man. So again, our parameters. Uh, Kendrick's gone. Hicks gone. Patrick Peterson and Bradbury not resigned. Thielen is gone. Dalvin gone. Uh, Daniil extended. Uh, and then in free agency, really built in the trenches. You got Ben Powers. You have Dalton Reisner and Javon Hargrave. And then we got this. So Jordan Addison, uh, nice wide receiver too. Going to work the slot. Uh, very nice uh, intermediary uh, intermediate option. Jordan Battle coming in. Super versatile defensive back. I absolutely love and adore that we got him at 87. Uh, Antonio Maffi, uh, again, we're, we're completely changing the culture here. All right, so we're going huge grinder inside. Absolute man size. Maffi, love him. And Ed Ingram can compete. That's it. Ventro Miller, uh, getting him in the fifth round, adding to the linebacker core. I really enjoyed that. We traded down. We got Darius Rush, uh, super uh, versatile uh, uh, cornerback. Who had himself in very nice senior bowl. And Evan Hall is a guy who just finds space. Like, give him a crack of daylight, and he will be productive. So uh, getting him uh, in the seventh round, I like a lot. So overall, we did it. Super Bowl homeboy. That's right, man. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. A Viking seven-round mock draft with parameters. Again, there are rules here. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most put the work, put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull, production value.